Busy night of news starting with devastation in Mesa. You see it here in this video. A helicopter spinning in the air before falling to the ground and crashing in a park. And Steve, tonight we've learned this crash has turned deadly. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez live near the U.S. 60 in Stapley Forest tonight. And Nicole, you spoke exclusively with witnesses on scene who say they did all they could to help. Katie, you could call them angels. At least three men and women came right up to the smoking remains of the helicopter. You can see crash landed right here and started digging through the rubble. Even though the scene was absolutely horrific, it didn't stop one woman from giving CPR and it didn't stop another man from holding on to one of the men stuck inside that wreckage before he passed. He was supposed to be helping build RC cars, but John Crew heard a bang and looked up. The tail was uh, looked out of control. It was just going back and forth. A helicopter overhead falling fast, crash landing into the park across the street. You got a couple things going through your head. For me, it was like, you know, if this was me, you know, I would hope that somebody was going to run in here and pull me out. And that's exactly what he did. Crew close to tears, telling us he dug through the rubble on the pilot side of the helicopter. I saw movement in his eyes, so we, you know, got in there. I was able to get into the cabin. And you could call it second nature. Crew, a former naval officer who served in Afghanistan, I was able to get my hand under his head, and two other people had his legs, and so I had his head and his uh, spine, and was able to. We were able to pull him out quickly. Then Phoebe Lystrom started CPR. I just wanted him to be alive. To be, that was just what I was thinking. Just let him just be alive. She tried for about a minute while crew wrapped his own shirt around the pilot's head as they waited for first responders. It was just like a life or death situation, you know. An emotional night for them and the families of the two men on board, one who didn't make it. But crew and Lystrom, brave themselves, still praise the man they tried so hard to save. He just kept swerving to the side, trying to avoid the houses. He was really aiming for the park and he got there. That was that is really heroic of him. Such an emotional story and unfortunately we still don't know how the second man that was involved in that crash is doing right now. But of course, what is on everybody's mind right now is what caused this crash. I did talk to several witnesses out here who told me they noticed a piece missing from the helicopter as it came down. And then we spotted this, what could be the chopper's rotor a few miles away from the crash scene. And that could really be the key to figuring out what exactly happened and of course the crash investigation investigation now being led by the NTSB. For now, we're live in Mesa. I'm Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.